Good morning. Uh-oh. I hear Nate. Go see Nate, fella. Go say hello to Nate. Where is he? I got the hot tub cooking, guys. Sunday morning. <clears throat> I should take today off. I've done a lot of work uh, over the last four days or so. Uh, when it comes to the hardy board siding, the soffit that I put up, um, these trusses in my house are hard as a rock. They're like petrified wood at this point. Uh, and there's three options for putting in, uh, putting up this siding or soffit. Galvanized nails, stainless steel nails, or like a galvanized uh, screw. And honestly, I think the screws, if I, I, I put a couple drywall screws in and the heads popped off. Drywall screws aren't, aren't very strong. Uh, it doesn't take much to pop the head off, but if I were to do it again, I'd probably use screws and the, fuck the air compressor, uh, which mine is a piece of crap, and the ex very expensive fifth, uh, 15 or 17 degree uh, signing nail gun, which I'm gonna sell on Craigslist, but uh, we got a lot done. My nephew's a great kid, not a kid, man, he's probably close to 50 now. But I remember the day that kid came home from the hospital. I'm, I'm 10, 12 years older than him, and uh, he's been a big part of my life, man. Worked for me, became a master plumber, very proud of him. Uh, lives here at my house, he lives in the guest house, and he's just a good kid, you know, till he hangs around with his uncle, but, you know, I'm here to show them what you don't want to be, that's what my example is to them, you know, lead by example, so that's what I do for all my nephews, and I got many of them, uh, but we got a lot done today. I'm thinking I'll take the day off today and uh, do some painting because that's easy. It's not very strenuous, no ladders, no staging. Uh, I realized, man, that I'm not the man I used to be. That's what happens when you get old. You gotta just realize you can't do the same shit. Hopefully you realize it before you actually hurt yourself. <laughs> Cause, uh, yeah. And I noticed that I need to get to the gym, man. My arms and, uh, I need to get back at working out before my muscles disappear, man. Um, I took a beating in this, uh, physically with this bone marrow transplant. Um, so I need to work hard at, at, uh, getting back. Not that I'll ever get back to what I was, uh, but strength wise, but I struggle, man, with this shit. Um, I can see my arms. They're just not, I used to be very, very strong, man. And, uh, it took its toll on me, but I'm going to get in this hot tub right now. I'm going to take it slow. I think what I'm going to do is just go to Home Depot and buy a gallon of paint. This gray that I want to do this wall with up here. And uh, I pressure cleaned it the other day. I pressure cleaned the deck. And uh, <clears throat> that shit up there, that dirt, those, that that shit's etched into the paint. It ain't coming off with anything. Trisodium phosphate. We used to wash houses with TSP, you know, before we painted them. That shit ain't coming off. It's etched into the paint. So I just paint over it. Uh, try to get some good exterior mold resistant paint. 
and uh, I'm gonna throw some gray paint on this wall today and maybe get the brown paint out and just kind of square this area off where I sit and it'll make me feel good man like <clears throat> things are starting to shape up around here and uh just kind of take it easy but uh i do have five gallons of this deck paint in my shed back there and uh i just hope it's still good because paint goes bad man especially latex you open it up and it stinks like fucking hell i made a mistake of painting this this unit here, the, the uh, guest house. I painted it with uh, some paint that was, it was a five gallon bucket, about three quarters full. But I had a guy paint it and it stunk like hell. I had to leave the windows open and doors open, let it air out. But now's the time of year to get it down here, man. The weather is nice. Uh, time to work man you know make hay while the sun shines is the old saying or something like that i'm not really sure i'm not from fucking iowa or wherever the fuck they make hay <clears throat> but my phone's been killing me it's bet it's got to be at least a month since this shit started and um it's really tough on your brain man this shit that you know you, you push a little button or you swipe something with your finger and you don't know what the fuck it's doing whether it's working or not I, can't, I just hate it man I like you turn a switch on and you see something move you know uh, these videos have been a real fucking challenge put up an hour video it's taking me like and I'm just neurotic with if I if I'm I'm bound and determined to do what I wanted what I what I set out to do and uh, I go to any length to do that I don't it's a it's a good thing I guess but um, I spend a lot of time man getting these videos up because of the memory situation and they some now my tablets all funky I took a, a SD card out without powering it off and it may be, I may have to do something to that, shut it down and let it reboot uh, because now my videos, instead of coming in in the correct order, you know, by time and date, they're just coming in all mixed up and I got to figure out which video goes first, you know, it's been a challenge guys. But I, I love doing it. I love the back and forth. Mike Hauser, you guy, he's always poking fun at me. He's a trumper, and I guess. And uh, he, or he just hates Biden. Maybe he's not a trumper. He just hates Joe Biden. Which, listen, guys, you never hear me fucking raving about Joe Biden. But I'll tell you what, he's way better than that fucking Looney Tune fucking cartoon character clown show they got up there in New York with his fucking kids who are turning on him. Kids are like, fuck you dad. <laughs> Have fun at fucking Leavenworth. We're out. Ivanka, she's like, my kids are mean way more than to me than you, you big orange oompa loompa. But uh, yeah, he's losing his fucking mind. Have you seen any of his videos lately and talking? talking in front of 80,000 people and he and he makes a mistake and he realizes he fucked up and then he kind of just rolls into something else and like nobody saw it you know it's like come on you fucking goofball where have we what happened to this country that we're we're ready to give the give the keys to the plane to a fucking a total menace to society and himself Dude's got fucking issues. I think I have issues. I I have issues, so I can recognize the issues in him. I don't ever... I shouldn't be president, and neither should he. That's all I'm saying, guys. Anyways, it's hot tub time. Oh, yeah, in the hot tub. All right, we'll see if we can get some funny shit today. 
Uh, man, I'm, I'm getting concerned about my nose, man. This ain't gonna be right if my videos of me hit, talking with no beak, you know? <laughs> At least I'll be able to pick my what's left of my nose easier, easy access. You know, if they just took it off like the Carl Malden part of my nose. Just get right in there, you know? Lots of air, fresh air. I have to stuff some like Brillo pads in there to act like hair. Uh, catch the dust and chunks and debris. <laughs> I fucking, Mikey Pipes, when he says debris, he pronounces the S, debris. I told him, I, I, I commented on his, on his site, I said, hey man, the S is silent, bro. It's not the breeze. You shoot the breeze. You know? Shoot the breeze with your friends. You clean up debris. The S is silent, dude. Eh, 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 his fucking wife never told him that? Come on. Alright, guys. Old Johnny Sunshine here. My nose is bleeding. Uh, I'm gonna head over to Home Depot, man, in a few minutes. I just just had a nice soak in this hot tub. I'm feeling much better. Uh, takes away the aches and pains. And I'm gonna go buy a gallon of this paint. I'm gonna look for this deck paint, too. Look at my eyes, man. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows my sorrow. That's it. That's all I know. We'll see you. Hey guys, I just picked up the paint at Home Depot, the silk, the gray, and uh, I got myself a nice breakfast. This is a great place. It's becoming my my favorite place to eat because it's so close. Uh, yeah. And my coffee, I ran out this morning, didn't get enough at home, so I'm got, I've am i got my coffee, my water, and my veggie omelet with feta cheese, man. Can't beat it. And a little music, man, sitting outside. It's a beautiful morning. Loving life, man. <clears throat> hey, guys. So I got this this gray paint here. I'm gonna put a little spot up here on the wall. Check it out. Unfortunately, uh, the deck paint that I have is uh, xylene based. And if you have xylene based paint, you gotta go back with the same shit. I like it. I want to see. I like the contrast between the the brown and the gray. I don't know if I'm even going to get a roller out. Uh, I think I'll just paint the damn thing with a brush. I mean, how long can it take to clean the wall? This? Ah, I'm going to get a roller. Problem is, you lose a lot of paint in that roller. But I've got some real fluffy rollers to get on this stucco. And uh, it'll look sharp. It's gonna look really nice when I'm done, man. I'm happy with it. I think it looks nice. A lot nicer than the white. Change things up a little bit.
<coughs> Home owner chip, guys. All right, guys, so I'm ready to roll here. Ready to roll, no pun intended. Ah! That was a fucking good one. That was a fucking good one. So what I'm going to do here, I've got my paint bucket set up. I did thin this thing out a little bit with some water for spreadability make it a little easier on me and I'm just gonna stop rolling most people cut in first but I'm not most people yeah I'm just gonna give you a little shot of how I paint finish it up I bought a four inch uh, I bought a four inch paint brush just a ten dollar brush I do have some really good ones the purdy that's a purdy brush man but you need a heavy nap uh, roller to paint these walls the stucco and what I do is just get as close as I can and then put the rest in All right, guys, you can see that I rolled this all out. And the reason why I roll first is uh, so that I, when I cut in, I don't have to cut in more than I really need to. I think it looks great. It's nice and clean. Bella, get the fuck out of here. God. Uh, and I just got a little bit to, to uh, cut in around a few things, the corners and around that eave up there uh the floor i'm gonna cut that in but then i'm gonna be painting this floor so i really wasn't too concerned about uh any paint that gets on it i'm gonna wash it off as best i can uh but i'm not really sweating it um i do have a lot of this left over i'll probably do another coat before i start cutting in uh but it looks nice, man. I'm happy with it. It's perfect, the gray that I wanted. And uh, I didn't have to pay somebody 
fifty dollars basically forty forty two dollars or something to paint this wall so can't beat that price and the guy who did it he's a pretty good guy you know I get along with him I'm going to get a four foot ladder for this. That fucking two foot ladder is dangerous, man. Could have cost me my damn life. So I want to give a shout out to a, a good friend of mine, Jerry Paleo from Rhode Island. He's a painter. And I worked for him from the time I was just a little kid, man. He was painting our house, that's when I met him. And they started really early in the morning. And uh, the two-story house. It started right outside my bedroom window, so I uh, I opened my window to start talking to these guys, and uh, they were they were born again Christians, and uh, they were all singing and shit out there, singing singing their their songs, and it sounded great. Uh, but I, I was about eight. I've known him for at least 50 years now. Uh, but I climbed right out my bedroom window onto the uh, staging outside my, my bedroom window and uh, started helping him paint. And uh, obviously my family and he we we became he was he's like my brother man and uh just a great guy but he is a real painter man he's a he's an artiste literally uh he's an artist i gotta get up here but you can see guys looking pretty good I've only been painting for 20 minutes, maybe. Mm, a little 
should be there. This is where I started. Uh, you taught me a long time ago. Paint covers a multitude of sin. <laughs> yes, it does. We used to paint three-story houses up in Rhode Island. Man, they were high. This shit down here, he'd love painting down here, but he, he's a Rhode Islander, man. He doesn't want nothing to do with Florida. Like a lot of people, unfortunately. The good thing about these screens, I can pop the paint, I mean, uh. Check out what my nephew's doing. He's got this country bumpkin shit playing. Hey, crank it up, man! This kid's got some badass shit, man. Check this stuff out, guys. Bella, shut up. He built all them speakers, man. Get his fucking. He's a real DJ, man. He's no joke. Look at this guy. Say hello, Nate. Hello, Nate. You got a fan club out there. Got a lot of compliments about How you. How is everybody? Such a good worker and a good guy. Look at this shit. Yeah, I won't be DJing. R1. If you want some badass speakers, people, call my nephew. That's his company, R1 Speaker System. He makes these things. Does it? Build them right in the shop, man. The wood shop. I'm gonna get a fucking copyright infringement. That's all his shit. Look at he's got lighting. He's got towers. He can stack this shit up. This guy can put on a show, man. Bring it up, Nate! Hang on guys, I'm gonna give you some dancing from a white boy. Put some music on that I can dance to.
the cops are coming, so I gotta get out of here. That shit is jamming, Nate. Fuck yeah, buddy. If the cops are coming, tell them the landlord lives in New York City. That's some jamming shit, guys. You can hear that shit a mile away. That was only about half throttle. But he does make some nice shit. I'm all out of breath just from fucking dancing for five minutes. I used to dance my ass off. Put a couple of Budweiser's in me. Not Bud Light. A couple of Budweiser's, man, and I was on the dance floor all fucking night. Soaking wet, sweaty, disgusting. But I was having fun. All right, guys. Johnny Sunshine here. Got this wall done. Looks good. Tomorrow I'm gonna paint this deck. I gotta pick up five gallons of this xylene. Yeah, I may uh I may paint a little more of this. I may use this gray paint to paint this trim. Uh it's due for some paint and maybe this curb, you know, just to tie it all together. I like the color of that gray. It looks pretty sharp. There's uh, my favorite guy. Good morning, sunshine. Yeah, baby. So this is my backdrop now. Looks a little nice. Looks pretty good, huh? Got fucking Mr. Sunshine sitting over my shoulder. Uh, it's all good, man. It's Sunday about 1 o'clock. I've had a good day so far, and I'm gonna cut and run while I'm while I'm in good shape. Hey, Gussie, you want to say good luck, good morning, or good afternoon? Hello, buddy. Gussie just gotta get you covered in his spit. That's his way of saying I love you. He just comes up and nudges you with his wet nose, and he licks you, and he. This guy, you can't rub his head hard enough. He just loves it. I mean, I'm digging into this dude's head. And, uh, yeah, he just can't get enough of it, man. He's a good man. He's a good man. Yeah, he's like, I got nothing. I got no beef with anybody, man. Just let me be. But, if you step on my toes, I'm on. What did my nephew say yesterday? Hey, Nate, what did you say yesterday about fuck around and get Fafa? Fofa? Fafo, fuck around and find out. Fafo, that's right. That's Gussie's attitude. Fafo, fuck around and find out. Yeah. Just because I got a fucking sun hanging on over my shoulder, it don't mean nothing. Fafo. Fafo, fuck around and find out. That's almost like MAGA, make the asshole go away. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it for today, man. I'm going to spend, uh, you know, try to get this video up by 9 o'clock tonight, and uh, we'll go from there. We'll see you tomorrow, man. Beautiful day. The pool is looking righteous. Uh... It's just gorgeous, man. At this time of year, I just gotta get out of it. If anybody's out here, out there with a place up in New England area, let me sleep out in the doghouse in your backyard for four months out of the year. I'll bring my work truck up there. If you're a plumber, I'll help you out. No charge. Just fucking go up there and chill, man. You know what I'm saying? Learn something new. Learn some AC. Steve, give me a call, man. I'll make some Portuguese soup. We'll go fix some fucking... Fix some air conditioners. Hit and run. I mean, uh, charge and... Charge and go, or whatever it's called. Yeah. I won't hold my breath. 